There are two ways to control a Kemper amplifier in the Liquid Foot Plus. One is in real-time mode and uh, one is in auto program or pre-program mode. So I'm going to show in this example how to do an auto load. So we're going to run the auto program wizard. We're going to select the Kemper device and I have that on MIDI channel 2 in my case. For this demo, I'm just going to load in the first 20 presets from the Kemper. I'm going to tell it to put the tap tempo and tuner on uh, button number 9, which is the top left of my Liquid Foot 12 Plus that's plugged in. And then for since we selected the Kemper, it automatically knows what stomp effects are available. So we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm just going to load, have it program the IA slots for us rather quickly. I'm going to select each of the options in the order that they're in the drop down list. And that's it, we're pretty much done. So, what we told it to do is sync with a Kemper on channel 2, grab presets 1 through 20, load in the uh, pr program, the uh, tuner for us, and tap tempo, and stick it on button 9 of page 1, and then program for us the first 8 IA slots, which with each of the um, available options of the uh, Kemper. Go ahead and hit next. Now, right now, I have a Liquid Foot 12 plugged in. You'll see that it is connected. And I have a MIDI in and a MIDI out cable connected to the Kemper itself. So I'm going to go ahead and start programming. And right now, my Kemper is uh, flicking through presets. And you can see the activity here. And we're pretty much done. So let's look at what the auto program wizard just did for us. So we got, we're in the IA slots now. So we can see that it programmed in stomp A, B, C, D, X, modulation, delay, and reverb. It added a tap tempo and tuner as well. So if I go back to my A, so you can see it named the IA slot for us. It programmed in that it's connected to the Kemper, programmed in the slot, and pre-programmed for us the on and off messages. And so we can see it did that for B, stomp D, stomp X, modulation, and delay. You can go ahead and tidy up the names if you'd like to. The other thing it did for us is it programmed the presets for us from 1 through 20. So if we go into preset 1, Steve Clean, you can see that it created the initial states. So in stomp A position of the Kemper, uh, there is an effect there, but it's in the off or bypassed state. There's nothing programmed into stomp B. Stomp C is programmed with something and it's turned on and so on. You can see it also programmed a MIDI command to change uh, MIDI channel Kemper to um, preset number zero, which is correct. And so we can scroll through all 20 and you can see down here that the states are matching uh, the actual presets that are loaded in. If we go to the global settings, we'll see that it changed the guitar tuner to Kemper the tap tempo source to Kemper and preset name syncing to Kemper as well. It also programmed in the MIDI channel. This is a reserve name, Kemper. And it put it in channel 2 so that the liquid foot knows on power up that uh, there's a Kemper device on channel 2. On the pages, it programmed button number 9. And you'll see that it changed it to a tap tempo as the first function and a tuner as a second. If you wanted to double tap to get to tuner, just change this parameter here. Now at this point, I can go ahead, I would select include global settings, and I can go ahead and uh, load this into the liquid foot. And now we have a pre-programmed ready to go liquid foot. Now Kemper has something interesting uh, with relation to the Liquid Foot Plus. And if we go ahead and turn Enable External Device Sync on IA, if we turn that on, then the Liquid Foot's going to go out and tell you what each of these IA slots actually is in the Kemper. So in uh, Stomp A, we might have a delay in one preset and a pitch in another and a chorus in another, whatever it might be. The Liquid Foot will go out 
go out and as you're changing presets automatically update the names of each of these buttons from one preset to another. So you can go ahead and enable auto sync to do that. If you want to override the names that are in here or let's say we didn't auto program we would then go ahead and just do external sync uh, and grab name and that means every time we change a preset it will automatically update the IE slots and the states and the names and then if we turn this on it will actually update the preset names as well and essentially ignore all of the auto programming or if you had an auto program then it would be as if you did auto program it. So for each of these presets I'm going to right click which is a new feature in this new editor and if you right click on any of these you can program all presets to match so I'm going to say yes and so here's an example if I go to 7 you'll see that it's turned off so now I'm going to go ahead and program all presets so now as I switch you'll see they're all on now uh, the same by the way is true of right clicking commands you can go ahead and copy and paste from one preset or IA slot to another okay now what I'm going to do for the sake of this demo is go ahead and send all of this to the liquid foot and at this point the liquid foot can now get powered on and uh, we'll have auto programmed everything that was in the KPA and start uh, running it immediately and we are now done great thank you